mentioned in a little article about Louisiana, my favorite highway, like in the whole fucking world. It's called LA Route 82. And I want to thank Miriam, um, who published this on Rogue, Rogue Scholars, actually, after she saw. So thank you, Miriam, for publishing this on roguescholars.com. Even the vowels drip between consonants, the way that hammocks are slung between trees, and the Spanish moss antiquely in the air makes a breeding ground of the breeze. Oh, how I long to go back to that highway that slips and slithers between the snakes and the egrets and the fecund hollows of the Louisiana bayou, where everything is dripping, sweat through my skin into muggy hot puddles, dripping the blood of the armadillo into the slits of the split concrete roadway, dripping. The grease between my fingers off a fried shrimp po' boy, and the water off those nets that dragged those clenching lumps of sea flesh in. And I did see them, and I did smell them coming in off the gulf before I brought them into my mouth, and it tasted close to tongue in the ocean herself. Here, with this view of the creamy peach sunset off of this highway, Louisiana Route 82, where even the vowels drip between consonants, the way that hammocks are slung between trees, and the Spanish moss, anti glace in the air, makes a breeding ground of the breeze. I was caught stuck in traffic. But I didn't mind, cause trapped along with me and my imagination were a dozen oiled up southern boys dragging home weary muscles after a long day working in the sun. Tight little asses all squeezed up into their jeans, long legs sloping out of the bed, but into the calves of their four by fours. Mm. But oh, how those tight little asses would skin me alive if they knew how this half dyke could fantasize about, about all the little holes they might not know could swallow their fishing poles or or about lining them up just to bend them over one knee and spank them with one of those Louisiana license plates. Sportsman's paradise? Uh-huh. Not because I want to hurt them. I just want to hear them squeal just a little when they find out they like a touch of pain where they don't think it's Christian. Because <laughs> there's nothing like a no trespassing sign that makes you want to crawl under. And nothing like a shaken Baptist makes you want to inch up a little in hell, especially if it's as hot as it is here on Louisiana Route 82, where even the vowels drip between consonants, the way that hammocks are slung between trees, and the Spanish moss, antique lace in the air, makes a breeding ground of the breeze. Do you know Jesus loves you? The fat red-faced man comes up to my table where I eat alone. The grease still fills the cracks in my lips. His voice is strung with the hum of one who believes he's got the God-given white right to preach. Do you know Jesus loves you? I smile and say, well, I figured he did. But I really want to ask him, does your Jesus know that I like to chow box? <laughs> <laughs> or that I spell America with three K's when I have to? and worship plenty of other deities depending on the level of my mood and my pain. But there's nowhere to hide in this one motel town, and I can't afford to let my motorcycle burn like a cross in the night, so instead I concentrate on the possibility of God. Suddenly I'm standing. He's joined by three others that encircle my table. They grasp my shoulders in a sw sweaty circle of prayer. Oh, Father, who art in heaven? And the mumbling incantations accidentally evoke my stormy God that sink pleasure into my veins, anesthetizing my fear of being discovered. The chanting quickens and vibrates in stereo, plucking the pores of the back of my neck, vibrating, 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 till I am shot through with cloud-free skies and boogie volcanoes, screaming, erupting, screaming, erupting, screaming, erupting, hallelujah! I quake and quake and dissolve into the arms of my saviors, weeping, intimate, sweltering flesh, sunk in the salty fried air, saturating these fibers that I have not washed for days. I will be wearing the scents of celestial love in the morning as I drag ass out of this town on Louisiana Route 82, where even the vowels drip between consonants, the way that hammocks are slung between trees and the Spanish moss, anti-glace in the air, makes a breeding ground of the breeze. Thank you.